This video was heavily inspired by RT60, with his video on the Spongebob song that gives people distress, so definitely check out his channel if you haven't already. Sup, homies? So Kingdom Hearts is a game series that I spent hours playing. I remember back when I was a little teenager, I played the games last year. But let me tell you that the sheer amount of joy that I felt when playing this series for the first time, it is impossible to describe. I played through all three games, plus the seven in between, and the last game that I played was unfortunately three. And I also read up on the mobile game lore because it's apparently canon in the newer games for some reason. This all started because I made a bet with my friend in freshman year of high school, which went as follows. If Sora gets into Smash Bros, I'll have to play through every Kingdom Hearts game start to finish. Which seemed pretty normal, right? My thinking was, Sora can't have Donald and Goofy with him because they're not Vigiga- Vigigamic- Why did I fucking write it this way? And guess who got announced last year? Now, I was a little hesitant at first because, come on, I wasn't gonna love a series with Donald and Goofy jumping around with a spiky-haired Animu pretty boy, but, uh... Man was I off! This series fucking rocks! I'm gonna try and limit how much I talk about gameplay because that could honestly be a video on its own and it probably will be. But with that aside, the music in this game, and all of the future games, is so good! To start off, each and every world is so atmospheric. They're all so varied and have their own little secrets hidden. But probably the most interesting world to me was Traverse Town, the main hub world where you travel to once you leave your home of Destiny Islands. The thing that always stuck with me about this world was, like I said before, the atmosphere. It's a really calming place to look at and especially to be in. I didn't even grow up with this series and yet I'm getting nostalgic over it because it reminds me of better times. But I think Traverse Town's music is probably the biggest anomaly to me because it's not that musically complex, but it's so calming and provides a really soothing tone to it. I think this coupled with the dark night sky, it's just, oh, it's so peaceful. I think I have a couple reasons as to why Traverse Town is like this. Firstly, I think the dark night sky is only contrasted with the abundance of light fixtures set up across the whole town. This would normally give off a blinding city light vibe had the music not been different. But because there's also people walking around and buildings set up with shops, you can see that there is a lot of room to move. You're never really cramped in this part of the game. There's always some new place to walk around to and discover. But at the same time, once you memorize it, it'll be a lot easier to get around once you eventually do return to this world. Secondly, I think because it's nighttime in this zone, you'd normally think that this would be terrifying. I mean, we've all seen those liminal space videos with it's just a burning memory playing in the background. So the people who think Traverse Town isn't at least a little creepy, allow me to sway your opinion by playing the Traverse Town theme over some terrifying images. Does your opinion still stand? However, to me, it reminds me a lot of being carried by your parents as a baby because you're too tired to walk when it's this late at night. And that music, damn, it's so pretty. To get a further look at this phenomenon, I asked my friend whom I lost the bet to in the first place. He's a diehard Kingdom Hearts fan and a pianist too. He helped me learn the monster theme on piano. So I asked him about his feelings towards the song from the first game because it did get a couple remixes down the line in the newer games like Dream Drop Distance. And this was his response. The music fits the atmosphere well, but the layout didn't age too well in my opinion. It's a very cool hub world for an early early PS2 game. However, it's way too linear in retrospective, and when asked about how the world's tone completely changes once the music starts playing, he said this. Yeah, it is kind of eerie too. It really embodies the purpose of the world, which is to refuge people who lost their world to darkness. It feels like it's sort of the in-between of all the worlds. Which if you're unfamiliar with Kingdom Hearts lore, the darkness is pretty much HELL. You can enter it by losing your way in the world and getting trapped in your own head. It's especially creepy when you think about it because this one character named Aqua, which SPOILERS FOR BIRTH BY SLEEP, she gets trapped in the darkness for 10 years years after sacrificing herself for whom she believes at the time is her friend Terra. But in reality, it was actually the villain named Xehanort who actually stole Terra's body. The lore of this game gets weird, but once you understand it, you'll never forget, trust me. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Traverse Town. I'm not pulling the hair out of your brush when I tell you that this theme is comforting. And that's for real, because pulling hair out of a brush is pretty annoying, especially after a shower. But moving on to the other reason why I love this theme is the characters and enemies who inhabit it. Most kids are familiar with Disney characters like Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, GG Goofy Goof, Sid? from Final Fantasy? A guy with a gun on his sword? Why do we never see him again? Having these characters walk around the world and just living their normal lives is something I can honestly see happening. When I see this, I don't really get too scared of this town because I know these characters. I grew up watching these characters and their wacky shenanderthals, which doesn't fill me with fear unlike a liminal space, for instance. Seriously, some of these spaces are just downright f***ing horrifying. But characters aside, I should also address the original version of this song. I would say that I didn't play the original Kingdom Hearts and only played the 1.5 version. However, I actually do own the original Kingdom Hearts and I played it up until the monster level. It's probably my favorite area in the game aside from Hollow Bastion. And yeah, there's some big differences between the original MIDI version and the 1.5 remix, with the biggest one being the live orchestra. Wow, I love this theme more than the original. I might be stomping on some people's childhood here, but the 1.5 remix of Traverse Town is so much more delightful than the original version. In the original, I just feel like the piano 
was slamming down on my crotch. It's a bit too pronounced for my liking. In 1.5, the sax is just so smooth and melts in your ears like a heated butter knife gently sliding through a room temperature stick of butter. Uh, <coughs> you didn't hear that. My point being is that 1.5 fixed a ton of problems I had with the original, and I really think it's one of the best remakes of all time. And I can definitely still hold some nostalgia over it for getting me through some tough times. I'm such a huge fan, I even got this Kingdom Hearts Keyblade necklace set, and I wear it all the time. But anyways, that's why I feel like Traverse Town is oddly nostalgic. A game like Kingdom Hearts deserves much more attention. This game made Mickey look like he listens to My Chemical Romance. And if you like this video, why not drop a like? You don't have to, but it's much appreciated. And that's about all for today. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.